And hey guys, we are finally back in this one now. The game is starting. Tylu versus Lin Vision on Vertigo. It is a grudge match. Let's see if Lin Vision, in their map pick, can bring this one home like they couldn't last time. Yeah, as I said, it's a bold decision to go in at this aggro and try and rewrite history, but I suppose that's what to do. you've got to do if you want to be the best team in the region and make your way onto the international stage. Again, we'll be looking out for some of our top players from both squads. As we got our first bit of action about to break out. Yeah, double P250, star in Westman, and they will be trying to duel Tai Lu at long range. Smoke towards A. No, a flash dash, that's going to strike Parallel and Expo to three, four players in front of him. They just win their pure aim battles. So that's exactly what's happening. The Glocks and P250s at close range are on a spree, but Danking, he could take, have something to say about this. All right, not bad at all to get us started. All right, so we've got the Live Vision attempting to make a big of an impression as possible. We'll see what the buy ends up coming out being early on, because again, we're looking to see both teams going at both barrels, and it looks like we will be getting attacker sneaky in with the SMG. Yeah, that was a very, very fast round for Lin Vision. And, well, every time I see them on the pistol round, I've got, I've got flashbacks from that 1v5. But, no, there's a very good start. Tyloo, they will be investing in Deagles and an MP9. This should be a round for Lin Vision, but I, I can, you can definitely see the CT side picking up a few lucky kills, maybe even the round. Got some pretty good defense on the ramp. Let's see if they get any further. As Danking actually picks up the first kill, we will have the rush coming in. I think this is, should be able to overwhelm. Summer is at the top of the ramp waiting to receive, but they're going to get a face full of molly fire coming through. Summer being taken fairly low already. They have got reinforcements coming in, but I don't think it's going to remotely be enough. Yeah, that is a very nice first pick to clear the bomb site momentarily. Bent at the IGL trying to duel in front of the smoke. There's a lot of damage, but that might actually be enough because look at Danking with this with this take with this deagle right? AKL Galil. He's just glaving the smoke and all even more da Oh Danking's fallen off. Oh <laughs> no. Oh, oh my gosh. This isn't really the way oh. you want to be starting here, is it? That is ex not what you'd want to be starting whatsoever. And um, that almost looked quite good for Tyler because, yes, the rotations were quite far away, but the counter flash and the counter utility that was coming in was actually really nice. And it was halting Lin Vision. So much damage was being initiated towards the T side. But if you saw it at the end, like, I think three of them, all three of them, like 10 HP, just sadly not enough. Danking probably, like, he genuinely could have won that 1v3. If he hadn't fallen off. Well, if some maybes will only take you so far. Lin Vision going to be powering up the ramp. We can see that they've got themselves a pretty strong defense. They're actually going to bring over most of their team. Ready to try and fire back. But they've only got the pistols. First kill to X-Pro. Does get taken down, but surely that's going to be it. I think that hopefully should be it. You want to be stabilizing your economy as much as possible. And also just for these confidence frags. But, oh, Ben, ben hey, he gets one back. He actually gets it from CT. So Danking has it. They don't know he's there yet, but oh, it doesn't even matter. Okay. I was going to say, he's the underlying factor here. Of, okay, he can swing out and maybe get one or two Deagle shots. But no, they do just destroy him. And that's a very nice round. Westmullen gets four of the Ecos. Doesn't share them around. He's, he's going, he, he wants those HLTV statistics, Pete. He absolutely does. Longest, you know, has been with the Limvision team since their start nearly, you know, four years, about five months ago now. So it's nice to see Westman getting to take the center stage in the early going. We have got the buy coming in for Tyloo, danking on all ping duty. We have seen a, little, a few little tastes of what Tyloo are capable of, but this is the round for them to show off. Yeah, just got to be careful here, especially with this ramp control where they are uncontesting without as much utility here. A flash could just put them in a little bit of an unfortunate situation, but no, Lin Vision, I like I, three players towards B. I quite like that, just already grouping up there, taking control. The problem is, look at X-Pro. The IGL dying on the A bomb site is going to allow the rotations for Tyloo to go over towards the B bomb site, where I think it's going to be an absolute bloodbath, Pete. All right, well, yeah, we're waiting for them to make the move in. Tyloo with baited breath, Summer and Attacker just waiting for them to come over the ridge line. 
Summer, you can see they've got ants in their pants. They're waiting for the, the call to come, and they managed to land the first kill. Onto Zeka, Starry Connor as well. Tylu on their buy round have an incredible defense. You can even see that that attacker he was climbing quad, but Nelly was genuinely holding for him, but he just couldn't see him. And as I was saying, because Expo dies on ramp there, it allows Tylu just to leave one one single CT over at ramp and then rotate everyone towards mid and B. They, ex they understand the hit's coming, they're prepared for it, and then they shut it down perfectly. Also, very nice glove-knife combination there from Danking. That is unreal. <laughs> that is actually ridiculous. I mean, that's how you get to be the king. So for Tyloo, this is a great, you know, breaker here. And to get the first kill onto Crazy, the rest oh! of the team are running in, and Summer makes it their winter. That is nice from him, and it's just clean up pretty much. Everyone else holding their own and danking. He will put the nail in the coffin there. The man with the flashy skins will put a flashy frag to end off in round number five and bring it ever so closer with Lin Vision now on an eco. Oh boy. Yeah, Lin Vision, I think, gonna get a little shook up after those last couple of rounds. Of course, we always love to see teams who can make something happen here. Uh, with the you know, with their pistol rounds, we have got a decent amount of grenades in hand for Limvision, so maybe they've got something planned. Um, yeah, I, is it just a just throwing nades towards ramp? That's, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, they, they see this orb. Surely they're throwing nades towards, but oh, they it goes so horribly badly, and it's, small, oh! it's just slowly just it, it, they're sitting ducks really. Like, what can you do? They had an idea, and it just the problem is I think it was that um, banking repeat. They weren't expecting that. The first nade gets dropped, and everyone else is just not looking too good for them. Three to three. This been a very fast six rounds, no Pete. It absolutely has. I mean, oh boy. So everyone from Tyler is really getting in on the action here. We can see the attacker's the lowest one with, uh, along with Bet Man, Ben Tet with two and three repeats. But everybody is getting the kills in. Starry for Lim Vision, not having the best of games so far. Hopefully they'll get to pick things up as they go. I mean, it's, the, it's super early days. I, I wouldn't judge anything just yet. We've got a whole series ahead of us, potential three maps. And in the end, this is a little bit city side, so you, I'm, I'm anticipating Tai Lu to have a earlier lead. Let's see if that continues. Danking, he's, he's very cautious with boost. And, oh, it does, oh. Oh, oh my god, it doesn't even matter. Bye bye. Danking was actually holding for the far boost. He wasn't anticipating that one. It doesn't even matter. That is a nice first opening pick for the T side. All right, so the first chance for a reset here. Now that we've had the two streaks on both sides, slowly is an absolute monster, but only gets two this time. Only two after hitting the 4K in the previous round. That might still be enough to take Limb Vision off their game. They're down to a three on three, and the equipment is ever so slightly in favor of Tyloo. I think slowly can be really happy with that. Putting us with 3 3 is, I would genuinely say, best case scenario. Attacker. He just needs to get one and try and survive for as long as possible, especially with the orb holding that middle, and that's perfect. He's isolating those jaws easily. Nelly's on 19 HP, and all I'm thinking right now is, oh, Nelly, this man's in trouble, because Starry, he has actually got a lot further than I would have anticipated, but he just can't connect those shots like he did at the beginning. The reason I mentioned Starry before is not having the best points so far Ooh. this game. Uh, they will hold that idea because we've got us down to a two on two. Starry is still up. Oh. But with them being taken out, it's down to Wonelli on 19 HP. And I think he's just going to take a short trip across to the A site instead, which we can see is very much the right move to make. You know, I mean, it's. Yeah, it's, it's well, that's like, over. Yeah. Time aside. <laughs> yeah, t time aside. That's a really nice reposition from Attacker there. He actually win He probably wins the round because he's just. It, it, no way I even yeah, there's no way you'd expect him there that close. He went from back site towards quad, um, then repositions to help out his teammate, and it's very nice. It actually secures Lin Vision the lead. And Pete, this is a pretty good start for Tyloo. Yeah, I'm really impressed with what we're seeing so far. Again, everyone's stepping up and really taking over. We have got the hero AK for Nelly in the rounds to see if we can pull off something surprising. Attacker? 
who was defending very well on site before, is now getting a little bit more up close and personal. I don't know if I like this, because they are going to get overrun, and that means another rifle in the hands of our T side. That can only spell bad things. Nelly creeps past without someone realizing he had already. That's an AK and an A1S to be able to pick up if they can. Benta is the first point of contact. He does have a rotation of Danking. Slowly he's very far away. If Linvision just hit this, oh, but ben has got a good read here. If he's able to, yeah, I, I love his position. If he's able, because there's no utility to clear him out, he can just duck in and out with his A1S. But Danking, the problem is he does have a flashbang, but he's, that, that's, all, that's all he's got really to support Bentet right now. And we don't see any of the other Tully members coming in, so Bentet definitely hasn't called for aid right now. Danking is waiting off to the side, though, ready to move into position. It's going to be Bentet to try and hold ground. Another good pick out onto Crazy, takes down Nelly as well. Could it be Story? No, but Dan King comes in to finish off the job, and that is going to be Tyloo on an absolute roll. I was literally saying, I was like, Dan King only has a flashbang to support his teammates. That flashbang supports his teammates perfectly. Very nice round for Tyloo overall, considering how close that could have got. And I also love the use of flashbangs and utility we've actually seen so far. That's something that I do sometimes see with these, um, I'd say, less popular regions where you don't have as much initial, uh, you don't have as many innovators. You do see a big lack of utility. I've seen it in South America, Oceani, I'd say even North America. And I, I haven't watched as much Asian CS2 to take a point about it just yet but it's nice to see a very just good fundamental level of utility the usage of it already in place oh for sure i think it's a really good foundation for talu to build on and so again for anyone who is coming into this one talu definitely are the favorite team you know, they lost the last time these two teams faced against each other, and then they had to go back through a second open qualifier to get to this point. They did, you know, did do pretty darn well in that second qualifier, and honestly in the first one as well, but revenge is heavy on their mind, and for, I think for Lim Vision, this is, you know, they must have been planning for this eventuality to happen, but we're getting pretty close to a worst case scenario for the early game. I think, though, as much as this might be a little bit scary, it's Tyloo, they're favoured on this side a lot. Looking, They got 11 rounds last time against Lin Vision, and Dan King, he's looking to probably hopefully meet that 11, and also just spams Westman and through the wall. I don't know if he saw him or if he just randomly spams. It's very unfortunate, and with about 20 seconds already played, I think that's round over, I'll be honest, Pete. Oh, if I'm with you there, I think, you know, for Vision, I don't think they've got too much more left to say. I think they're hoping to be able to find, you know, well, Zacho is at least trying to hope to find a pick before the round is over, but without that happening a couple of times, wait a second, Vision are still pushing forward. They're trying their arms here, and that's going to cost Nelly their life. I think it might well cost Starry as well. Takes down Summer, but walks right into trouble. I think surely now this will be the end of it. This is the first round we've seen Lin Vision out with the big green. Not very successful at all. I don't think Zach has fired off a shot yet. Starry yet again trying his pedantics over in middle. And what a nice little off angle there from mm. Attacker. He's been, I'd say, fairly strong towards the B bomb so with Bente. Apart from that one little mishap where he did push against the low buy. This is a good six rounds in a row for Ty Lu. And as I was saying, they went 11-4 and four last time against Linvision. It was a map that was dominated by the CT half. With 29 rounds of played, they got nine in total across the 29 rounds on CT side. So I feel like we're going to see something a little bit similar, and it's already panning out to be the same. I mean, Linvision, they've got themselves a scout for the round on the pistols, but... It's definitely starting to feel a little bit more desperate after six in a row for Tyloo. It was always going to be a very bold decision for Limbusion to go back to this map again and try their luck. We do have the attempt from X-Pro coming in, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Tyloo are keeping their distance. We have a Westmoreland and Starry ready to try and push up onto site, but we've seen how well Attacker can hold, and they'll do it again. 
Yeah, I mean, attacker by name, but then defensive by nature. He's been a very good Bianca so far, and he's just consistently ployed them off there. The smoke does come in. That's literally their... their they've got one util left apart from that. They've got a single flashbang. Westman's just... Oh, he's just failed to jump twice. Okay, so attacker knows he's there. You can see the reposition because of... Like, you can see the reaction that attackers uh, put in. And then slowly as well, look at him. He, slowly by name. Fast by nature, just all the way down the A bomb site, and yeah, this is looking like a lost round for Lin Vision here. Oh, apart from if West Melon just goes nuclear with his tech nine what? like that. All right, all bets are off. West Melon has arrived, and he's going oh to God. mark what? it. Bente is gone. It's down to the Danking to stand one versus two, one AK against the other, and Danking is going to be taking a long way round. What a recovery this would be for Lin Vision if they could pull this off. What a round from Westmoreland there. I did not expect that or anticipate it whatsoever, Pete. And, well, that's definitely a disrupt in their momentum. I mean, Westmoreland, I think this is the thing. Limvision, they needed a hero to step forward. In this case, Westmoreland did it, absolutely. Nice molly. But unfortunately, Dan King finds a little bit more trouble than they were hoping for. So we are back. The streak has been broken, and it was broken on the pistol round. Probably the worst feeling to ever have it broken as well. Of, of all rounds, it's a Tech 9 that we're sitting there like, it's a 2v4, I think it was. And it was like, okay, this is looking like a done and dusted round. This is not looking good whatsoever for Lin Vision. And then, bam, West Melon finally appears in the game, appears in the map. And I, I think that's, a, that's an instant tactical pause for Tai Lu. <laughs> it's a respect pause. I mean, yeah. Again, we've mentioned before, Westman and the player who's been there since the very beginning. Who more appropriate for Lin Vision to step up and save them when things seem the bleakest? It is, yeah, it is only fitting. It's very, it's very poetic in that manner, isn't it? However, I will say, saved momentarily. They're still on a two-round deficit. This is still very early doors in this map. They have got the orc back on Zaka. Last time we saw it, he didn't. I don't think he even fired a single shot. So let's try and improve that one now. <laughs> just far into the wall. Yeah, we'll just call like, that a success. Honestly, it'd be a better start, I'd say. Well, slowly is here on defense, and we of course we've got attacker over on the A defense as well. So some cracks will need to show in the Talu defense for this one to work. No more surprises. It's just going to be Lim Vision giving the standard round with a standard loadout going face to face with Tyloo. Yeah, this is actually a very just complete bog standard round we've seen so far. You know, 1B, 1 mid, 3A. And did West Melon? It was just a random. I think he just he flicked his, uh, his mouse field there because he did just jump into the wall. But now, with a minute left. Lin Vision have done very good to save their utility. So now, I think they're just going to pop onto this ramp slowly. He's close. He could just run them. Oh, this smoke's actually going to help him. Oh, this is huge. He's going to use that smoke to the disadvantage, no! but no! x Pro, the IGL, somehow gets that frag. And now Ben Tet, he's in the hot seat. Lin Vision know that they've Ooh. had a rare opportunity to get further up. They've managed to punch through and... I think this could well be it for Tyloo in a... So it wasn't just in a pistol round, a surprise round, that we have our Lim Vision squad able to get the win. But now they could force out the regular rounds to go in their favor and maybe build up a six streak of their own. Again, though, the rotations are very close. Banking, he won't be smoking up momentarily. Oh, that's a lot of utility on. Yep, okay, never mind. Ooh. I was going to say, you know, maybe Summer's there with him, but Summer, he still is here. Problem is, he's going to get pincered. He does have a little bit of support, but I think it's going to be momentarily success. Attack Attacker. in a 1v4. Oh my god, Z Zaka, if he hadn't hit that first bullet headshot with a Tech 9, the bomb wouldn't have gone down. There would have been only a few seconds left, and Summer would have probably won the round for them. That was very, very close. So building on the back of West Melon's success, the Lim Vision squad almost bring things back to even once again. Of course, West with 11 kills so far, certainly most impressive. In fact, yes, the highest fragger in the entire server. But you're right, it's a step-by-step -step process for Lim Vision. Tyloo are still obscenely dangerous. 
both teams are very dangerous right now. I, I don't even know who has the momentum. It seems like it's both teams have momentum at this stage. But it's going to be a faster pop towards the bomb site. I don't know if they're going to commit with this or if they're just taking space. Attack has been forced off the angle in B. Banking has been forced off the middle, uh, the angle in middle, but not really that much. And what it's actually done as well, you can see the, the dropping of utility very early on for Attacker. He's been quite good at holding it in some of these later stages. So we already see the Molotov being exposed. And Summer as well. Summer's rotated straight straight over, he's normally towards A. Yeah, I do like this from Tyler. I mean, you know, we get to see through our very eyes how the teams are adapting to each other's style. It does look like we're going to be going straight up into the jaws of Tyler, though, in this round. They were holding back. Limvision. Oh, actually, I will do exactly the opposite of what I was saying. They posture towards A, but they're going to make the move over to B. They will make them move over. Another bit of utility expersed for sandbags. They know they've got two trapped A and some, he's, he's, he's got to just maybe survive at best. If he can get one more here, best case scenario. And he's done so long at holding them up. Look, they haven't even got to the bombsite yet. Banking's on the cross. Lin Vision are just sitting ducks and they finally will get across but not with the bomb it will get planted oh but look at this there's the cts they're trying their best but it doesn't seem like it's going to be that successful pete oh boy it is a standoff yeah. but slowly gets taken down that's a huge news for our friends from loon vision and i think yeah danking just couldn't quite do enough missile shot before now has to back off with that orb certainly a more valuable price than the round itself but we had our doubts and Lim Vision, they've actually drawn back even. I do find it amusing that Danking has the most unreal knife glove combo I've seen in ages, and then a vanilla orb. I feel like that is the, <laughs> so, that is the best thing I've seen in a while. I love that. However, what Lin Vision do love is evening up six rounds and getting the orb on the hand. Oh, that's huge. They don't have enough money to rebuy an orb into this round. Lin Vision, they've already got two more rounds than they did the last time they were up against Tai Lu. And they're also looking like they could even be extending this extension of rounds. And Lin Vision, this is, this is definitely something a lot more than I expected. Oh, yeah, I mean, let's talk about what we're seeing here then. You know, Limvision, you know, hopeful, well, we were in the situation before and Limvision were able to turn it around, but if we assume that the things won't go terribly well for Tyloo in this round, what are you liking about what we're seeing from both teams so far? Well, Tyloo have had some really good rounds towards the A bomb site, and overall, they have been good at getting control. Um, you know that round where Slowly was up close? Like, this is, yeah, this is a nice round. Honestly, I respect the idea. You're doing something gimmicky going through a smoke, you're using your utility. The problem is, it did just feel a little bit too textbook and Lim Vision, you know, it's, it's something that's quite readable and it's like, okay, we're just holding for pushes here. Tyloo played straight into that. So this is a good round from Lim Vision then in that sort of like, they countered something that could be quite dangerous. And the fact that the only USP gets the kill is quite ironic as well. But Tyloo, you know that round where it was, it was the round after the, the Tech 9 round where Slowly was pushed up and Ben Tech was there as well? Like, that was a perfect play hmm. round. And then they just lost. And it was like, oh, unlucky, I guess. Like, it's just one of those things where <laughs> I, I don't really know how else to say. Like, they did everything right. Unlucky. And Lin Vision, they just seem, both teams are playing great CS, I'll be honest, right now. Yeah, I mean, considering how different the rankings are between these two teams, you know, we're, we're, I think we're, we're kind of be forgiven for being a little bit, you know, behind the Lin Vision squad here just as the underdog team come in, despite that win in the series before. You know, every expectation is still at Tyloo, who will have learned from their mistakes and will get the win back, as this round looks like it might be the time for the other shoe to drop. This is a very similar, this is, I think, literally identical from that round I was just saying. You've got slowly close in that, in that smoke, and then bent it around the sandbags. The idea was, I think we saw it in a great expedition, a, a, exhibition there, a bait and switch technique where you have slowly take first contact and then Ben Tet follow through and it's worked out perfectly this round. The penultimate first half, the, the penultimate round of the first half, Lin Vision, they're in a three versus five, but I wouldn't put them out just yet, especially with the fact that Nelly's got this far up. One flashbang can pop him straight in towards Dankin. This is such a hard sight to take as no! Dankin gets splashed off, attacker gets their revenge. We've now got Starry, last one standing. It won't be a completely clean round for Tyloo, but it will break the four round streak, surely. Starry's still alive, one versus three. This time, no miracles forthcoming.
he just had to do the impossible. He had to get both the B players there. He had to get attacker and Dan King. Nelly, yeah, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. Like, he genuinely has to do something that isn't realistic. And I think that was the problem with when you're in a three versus five, you have to do something that isn't realistic in any scenario. So seven to seven, regardless of what happens in this round, Lin Vision, I'd say they're more than happy with this scoreline. Oh, for sure. I mean, certainly considering the way it seems to be going in the early game. Fast. I... Oh, very fast. Some are gonna get flashed oh, up. Does get one kill before falling back, but nice molly to drive them out of position. Very good counter utility though. Look at Westmelon and Nelly. They've been eaten by nades and they have got mid control, but at what cost? Yeah, this is walking wounded. I'm sure, you know, Limvision love to get a last round the half and at least go, you know, go into the second half with momentum. I think it's certainly surprising a lot of people. Again, you know, this is a very bold move on Limvision's part to come back to Vertigo again on their map pick. So you know, in a different world, I would imagine this could even have been Tyler's choice of map to go for the first. Some of those very close here. Good for the first. The low HP player of Nelly will be terminated. An attacker here is to support. But okay, I got scared there for a second, Pete. I'm not going to lie. I was like, Starry, has he just done it all by himself? And West Berlin and Zaka now. The last two remaining players and well okay um summer is going to be unknowing that zaka is right behind him this two versus two with the bomb going down for utter three and to be honest no one even with a remotely close rotation lid vision this would be what a what a round for them to win it would be incredible i mean this really washes the taste of that six round streak from tyloo completely out of the mouths of course tyloo they don't have anything to lose anymore so they may as well go for the play westmelon had the shot but didn't take it zach and Lelise is able to turn things back to a one-on-one -on -one, taking down to around two thirds it's sniper versus sniper which one is better Zaka on low HP, but that won't be able to be capsulized by the other AWP, and they've both spotted each other out now. There's no smoke on the bomb, but he's actually just going to stick it. Oh, he misses oh! the upside. Dan King is the one thing. Is there time, Pete? Is there time? Dan King is the music. It's down to the this be ridiculous. Oh, and he dies. Oh! Dan King at the last second. Literal milliseconds on that one. He hits the one dig. He diffuses the bomb, and he clutches it up for Tai Lu. What oh, a boy. last round of the half. That is ridiculous. And Asian CS has already taken my heart. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a great way to get started here today. Of course, do you remember going on, on our other stream right now will be the Rare Atom versus Wings Up game. The loser of which and the loser of this game will be going to face each other later today in our match at 1500 CEST, but at the halfway point, these teams couldn't be closer. I'm actually, it's the fact that, no, it, it's just like, it, it's the whole play out of that bit is that, is that Zaka misses like the easiest shot he'll ever have in his life. Mm. And then Dan King hits like the instant one dig as well. Like that, that was crisp. And then he gets the fuse with probably a 0 0.05, so. He can have that. He can have that. <laughs> I think that's the times, though, isn't it? You know, as you mentioned, you know, while this, you know, we're still in region right now for these players, there, there is the pressure on of being that, you know, they've got to not only try and grow in the, inter you know, the internal region, but they've also got to be able to put on dominating performances because they can't dominate the home region. And what chance are they going to stand on the international stage? Yeah, I, yeah, I think that is a very good point of these regional stages, I, I don't think actually provide a true showing of what they'll find internationally. And in the last few years, Asian teams have struggled to get consistent wins. Tyloo have been looking a lot better recently with doing well and then beating MIBR, holding their own against teams like Vitality Mouse at the Cologne Plains, if I'm not mistaken, and then taking a map off Movistar Riders, who were very, very in form at that period. Mobby went on to then win um, the event in Valencia, if I'm not mistaken, and then also make top four at Cologne. So they have had some success, but it's all kind of like, you know, iffy if that makes sense like it's like it's it's so so success so these agent mm. teams are definitely looking to get a lot more formidable and to do it so in a fashion here regionally decisively is very important i'd say so we saw last time round limbish got the pistol round and they managed to string that into three in a row i'm sure they'd love to be able to do that again here on ct 
where we have got a big defense here on the B side. <laughs> oh. The gamble for has, has paid off. It just remains to see how well we actually hold the line. This is a good start. Starry with the dual breasts up close. We'll have support from Zaka at long range. Well, the dual breasts, they're going hunting here, Pete. They're swinging out, Ooh. but it will just be Zaka. He's making up for his mistakes last round. He has not been put down by that small little mistake. And well, look, there's literal four players here. You've got x I'm pretty sure, is holding and he's towards Connector. He's just, a, he's just a wee bit behind them. But they're going to do us with zero casualties whatsoever. Zaka wow. and Starry doing it all by themselves. Lin Vision, they take the pistol round and we're still tied eight to eight going into the second half. This game, there's just, there's nothing between these two teams. It's so close. I mean, this is what we love to see, honestly. You know, if we're talking about the in region stuff, we, you know, we've got a rivalry here with Tyloo and Lin Vision. This is the grudge match rematch between the two of them to see if Tyloo can, you know, can wipe the slate clean. But yeah, the, you know, the idea behind the rivalries is always that the teams will bring out the best from each other and force each other to go further than they would have otherwise. It's very interesting. We were talking about how rare Atom should be undoubtedly getting the win against Wings Up. They're actually 11 4 down after the first half. Ooh. On Inferno. Which is interesting. So, um, very good start for Wings Up, I guess. And Lin Vision, they're looking to. Because I was saying, if either of these teams win, it'd be a. I'd say it'd be a. It would be a upset. So, there's a very high chance we could see both these teams taking their first map. Oh my gosh. Well, that would be a fantastic time. We always like to know, be a little right? bit surprised. I mean, this, so at least in this first couple of rounds on the CT side, Lim Vision have kept things unsurprising, which I'm sure they're very happy about, in that they've taken the pistol round, turned it into a second round. But last time round, they put three in a row together before the change. Ooh. This time, we've got the buy coming in from Tyloo. Things could change very quickly. Yeah, I mean, Tyloo have the guns, especially the advantage. Starry's got an F a mass of three ONSs, so it's looking a lot better than it was at the beginning of the round. Lin Vision, they've got to be careful they don't go one by one. Because I, I got a little bit scared there. Zaka just creeping in mm. without his teammate. But no, they there's two in middle. And if they push here, perfect. They'll be able to isolate the one versus the two versus one. But Starry, well, gets a little bit lucky there. Catches off Ben Tet, the IGL of, um, of Tyloo has been executed but slowly he will spark back with one by himself and so far this round a lot of isolated jewels hasn't been a single trade it feels like and it's just a three versus three you can see the lv you know they're scattering around to re and reset up the defense looks like they're going to be going mostly towards the a site and we can see th th their read on what tyler Woods has been doing has been pretty good so far in the match I mean, this is a perfect read right here. You've, you've got Starry just aggressing B for basically the second time, I'd say. And he might even catch someone off in the back. As soon as he does that, he can just run away. He doesn't have to overextend, but no, he, he, he will miss his time momentarily. But in the meantime, the other two CT players will be towards the A bomb site here. The count utility to deny the bomb will just be placed there. And these other two CTs, they just gotta be careful where they don't overextend too much. They just basically hold off for Starry. They allow for Starry to get in, in place. The bomb goes down. It's not the end of the world. It's not ideal, but it's not exactly the end of the world, especially when you're doing 50 points of HP damage with a nade and Slowey's last alive. And a 1v3, a 1v3 turned into a 1v1. But Starry <laughs> with the 4K will secure the 10th round for them. And oh my God, Pete, for a second, I was like, I was like three versus one 1v1. <laughs> I know, Freddy, it was, it was, I think this has been a real hot stopper of a first game today. Again, bear in mind, we were across our two channels, we were bringing you four best of threes. This opening round, then the lower finals, and then the upper finals as well. And of course, tomorrow, finishing off the entire thing. But, oh boy, I mean, for Lim Vision, though, this half has been a showcase for them. Zaka with a three, Westman with a three, Starry with a four just then, saving the round for what could have been a turnaround. Lim Vision, they're on a roll right now, and we just need to see how far they can take it. I, th there's, there's so much potential for just anything to happen in this one. But up against especially the low buy here, and a very nice one-way smoke. Are they holding for this? I don't think they're going to expect this. Oh my god, they oh do. Oh my god. Honestly, do you know what that is? I do think it's because, you know how we're saying that these teams play each other a lot? I think that's a prime hmm. example right there. I think that they see a smell like that and they're like, oh yeah, we know what he's doing. Yeah, well, I mean, this opens the door for Tyloo. 
They've got a chance to get up there without taking nearly any damage at all. I believe they got the extra rifle from their exchange, so Westmanland out of play for this one. You can see X-Pro, they've got the adrenaline flooding in. They know that the next few moments will define the round. Dan King takes the first bullet, sets up for attacker, but no! Tyloo get cut down! Summer and Ventet are still up and fighting, though. They're gonna go in full fire blazing. Okay, pretty clean round out of that first initial deficit. Very nice indeed for Lin Vision. This is a flawless CT side so far. It is their map pick, and they're looking to go onto Ancient with the upper hand here, Pete. Oh my gosh. I mean, wow. Lin Vision, I mean, it's such a good recovery from what we saw before, especially in the shadow of those six rounds in a row from Tyler in the first half. I think, you know, teams with you know, weak and mental were just a collapse under that kind of early play and just say okay we you know we're just gonna be playing from behind for the rest of the game but instead Lim vision you know they are looking incredibly strong right now they don't look intimidated at all they don't and i i, I really appreciate it. you were talking about kind of that like mental that, that mental reset and it's the fact that zaka goes from whiffing a shot that could really detriment them and actually could be a very significant factor to why they could lose a game for instance so then getting a 2k or no, you got a 3k the next round on pistol. It's like straight away, bam, wakes up. And uh, and Lin Vision, they're following in that pursuit. York's out for Zaka, but it's also out for Danking. Danking peeking towards B. He could be catching off an unwary jump peek from Starry, but no, Starry's actually gonna he's he's gonna read he, he could read into this one and has fallen back. But on the on on the A bomb side, as we I think we were just talking about B, Westmelon has just peeked short and got a, and got an opening one. Yeah, attacker being taken out of commission. So we've got the opposite situation we saw in the previous round. Now it's Tyloo fighting an uphill battle in more senses than one. And I do wonder if Tyloo are a little bit shaken up here. They don't know if they expected this half to go remotely this way. And now, yeah, they've got themselves into a disadvantaged situation. I'm, I think they'd probably be looking to try and get a pick off, but none are being presented. No, this is, this is what really, I think, defines the upper echelons of teams is when you've got this advantage what do you then do how do you play around it and i like what they're doing here with just disrupting the flow of ramp they're not allowing tyloo any space to work with and it is just causing a, a trouble with the momentum danking he has to hit a flick shot here but no oh wait, boy wait did, wait did either of them spot each other out okay <laughs> danking spotted Danking spotted him out now, but he keeps on looking away and then trying to flick onto it. Also, a nade to ramp as well. That's just chopped it down even more as well. So it's allowed for the one taps of the A1S. And the bomb, I don't think it's going to be able to get planted because as soon as it gets tapped, all they do oh fake it out gosh. nicely. Slowly, he just plants in the smoke. They know this, try spamming down, but nothing connects. I versus four retakes. Sorry, this man has been naded four different times, but he is still alive with a significant amount of HP and he's standing on default, ready to take anyone down. They're tanking at the back of there for running fire support. Still being frustrated by how little of Lim Vision they're getting to see. But Lim Vision are all around. They're all coming in from one angle. Tyloo and slowly up there on the flank, but only trades one for one. We know Tyloo can't afford to trade, but they do bring us back to two on two. Make that one on two. And Ted needs to find a way through. They do get down X Pro. The, the fuse will not happen. And they take down Zaka as well. That is huge for Tyloo. And the round is finally completed to break the streak. Yeah, that is a really, really nice round from Tyloo indeed. Lin Vision just gave them a little bit too much space to work with. And because of that, we saw Tyloo, like, you know, you, you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. I think something along those lines of Tyloo, mm. they got the bomb down. The counter utility was not good enough. It didn't do as much damage after that initial first nade. And so Tyloo just played post pawns and then goes into the 1v2, Ben Tet. It's honestly quite easy for him at that stage. Like you, he, he knows where the the bomb diffuser has to be because of the position of the bomb, where the smoke is, all that jazz. He might he might have seen the wires as well. I don't know, but by large, that was a pretty easy one v two and a very fundamental win for him. Lin Vision, they shouldn't feel too demoralized. But what is demoralizing is the money. Yes, it's always hard to be too cheerful if your money situation isn't so good. Oh my gosh. All right. So we've. it uh, looks like we may have a limb vision that disconnects on Nelly's part. So hopefully, well, not Nelly's part, on the last remaining player. Hopefully we'll be back underway in just a second. Again, we can see 
the series overall, Ancient and Overpass, if we get that far. These two teams, as we were talking about before, though, you know, if you look at just their ranks against each other, you would think they wouldn't be a good match at all. But so far, we've seen two teams you can barely separate. Yeah, I'm actually going to check the scoreline for the rare Aston Wings up because it's been 11-4 on HLTV for a while now. Um, so I'm not mm. completely sure. But it actually looks like it could be 11-9 now. So this game's got a little bit more... Con yeah, it looks like it's 11-9. So it looks like it's gone a little bit more contested. So I might have... Have I jinxed it, I guess, then? Because I was like, ah. <laughs> Do you have that power? I was like, look, we could see two upsets. And then as I say that, both the teams go, eh, I'm going to win. Oh my gosh. Well, you've got to be very careful in deploying such powers, of course. It's very irresponsible on a stage such as this. Is it reverse psychology? So is it like, oh, we are the worst casters? Is, 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 <laughs> is, is, is that how it's supposed to be used? I mean, it's, you know, it's caster curses being thrown around with Wild Abandon. Who knows, ultimately? Maybe it's the guys in the other stream. You never know for certain. When we get back on the way, our pause is over, and Tai Lu are back in with, yes, yeah, to say, money is not good from either side, but Tai Lu, they've got the equipment they need. For Linvision, they'll have to make do with what they can scrounge. It's a very janky round and all oh, the boost. The fact that Nelly gets away alive, I think he should be glad for that. And Nate doesn't connect an attacker. Look at the space he's accumulated here. He's got so far up. He's got three players in front of him. And he'll isolate just a clean fight towards Ivy. I didn't even spot Westmelon there. But he's only good for the first trades. Back, forth, back, forth. But I think Tyloo, they know that there's an opening towards the B-bomb site. So they're quickly just going to converge over there. They're going to get the bomb down. And if, honestly, for Lin Vision here, I wouldn't say a, a save is out of the realms of possibility. They've got an AK A1S. I'm pretty sure they could find a second AK somewhere. So I think they just, they, they, they count their losses here and don't overextend. Especially when the scoreline is about to be 11-10 and you're broke. Oh, for sure. I think that's absolutely the right choice. As much as it might be tempting to go fishing for a Tyloo member when you know, when their money is also pretty low as well. You know, Nelly is almost dead. Zaka, you know, I think very happy just to leave out this round. They're just going to hang out on the ramp and wait for the bomb to drop. But hey, we're almost back up to dead even between the two. The threat of overtime in our very first game is very real. Zach has got to be careful here, he doesn't die. He shouldn't. And it would genuinely be quite bad if he does. Tai Lu are also in the same man the mentality of they're like, look, we've got three players alive. Our money is not bad. Let's equally not force the issue. And it's, I mean, we're straight back to head to head, Pete. It looked like I was like, okay, Lin Vision, they're progressing, but no. I think it's going to be 11 11. So if we base this on a first half somewhat, because we've seen some fairly similar stuff. Limvision got three rounds in the first half, four rounds in the second half. Now we are due for Tyloo to go on an absolute tear and get themselves in six rounds in a row before Limvision make a startling last second comeback. Whether that remains to be the case, I suppose we'll see. But certainly for Tyloo, they're looking to build up something. Or this second half is not going to be their friend at all. You know what? Who said it had to be ending in regulation? I want to triple overtime. <laughs> Every no! single map. Every single map. Triple Why are you overtime. do this? Why are you like this, Freddy? Why are you like this? Or is it reverse psychology where it's cast as curse? So it's like, I'm not going to get it. Ooh. Ooh. Didn't think about that one, did you then? Well, <laughs> I'll have to rely on witchcraft of all manner of means. Certainly, Limb Vision will have to try and put on their thinking caps. Because say they've got the two rifles they saved from the previous round, but that is pretty much it. And I do wonder if Lim Vision would you know, be relatively happy just saving those rifles again. Saving them this time won't be as valuable, but it definitely would mean they could maybe get an orp out. I'm not too sure. The story here hasn't got a frag so far Whoa! since he's joined back in server, and that's a pretty good start. 
it does dome summer, but the rest of the team will be progressing up. And that nade, oh, I actually thought I was going to land straight on attack. But no, the rotations are here. You've got both the rifles on the B bomb site already. And Lekker, very nice. But the problem is, he's actually going to be good for two. I thought he was going to get traded out. But no, the trades are not coming in. Tai Lu now in a one versus three slowly. He's pinning them down. The Orphan picked up by Expo. Nelly's going to be trying supporting him with 45 seconds left. The bomb is down in no man's land as well. All right, slowly. This is oh your chance, but no. What a round for Limb Vision. They come in with two rifles. They leave with one rifle and an orb and the win as well. Tyloo, as we were saying, they need to start putting together their second half performance here. But it's only two rounds before Limb Vision get back in control. And of course, now if we start trading rounds backwards and forwards, Limb Vision are just going to win. Well, but uh, you, you know, I, I was mentioning at the end of the, uh, the round prior was, you know, the money of Tyloo equally isn't that great. And we're seeing a great expedition of it right now. You've got two Galils, three AKs, and not much utility whatsoever. Lin Vision, they win this round, they break the economy of the T side, and they're poisoning themselves to basically have an extended lead, plus be very close to the finish line. Pete, I think if Lin Vision take this, I will be so impressed. I would be as well. I mean, as I said, this whole series, a grudge match rematch from before, I think, you know, to actually have Limb Vision get the win here would mean an enormous amount of time. Lovely utility to cut down a little bit of the health coming in. But we are set up for a similar situation as before. Limb Vision are all over the site. They're setting up the firing line slowly around the corner. Does trade one for one, but both teams going all out. Nelly's taking a lot of damage here as well. I think the one advantage that Lin do still have is just a little bit of utility where Tai Lu just have... Well, they do have three switches now. I think they've picked one up. Two flashes and a nade. They have to commit somewhere. But they have nothing else to defend when they get the bomb site. No, and that's, we've seen how powerful that can be just to block the vision. X-Pro is up there having that vision blocked right now. Then Vision on the other side do take a chunk out of Ben. But again, Ben gets the plant through under fire. Yeah, Bentep, fair play to him there. The IGL just committing to it, being like, guys, don't worry, I got this. And we were talking about taking away vision. That's a very deep smoke towards Connector. So it will just then force the other players to lose some time, rotate over heaven. The last remaining smoke and flashbang will be propelled by the CT side. Smoke towards short, uh, no, a smoke on bomb, flash towards short. They're just going to go through with this. They're not finding anyone. The T side, they're being very, very patient. They're not over peaking. And now the kills, they're going back and forth but in favor of Lin Vision is their time. No one got on it straight away, and I'm not sure. Starry, I don't think there is. And Lin Vision, oh they will win it. God. Wait, what? No way. That is the second time now this game. They have clinched up a round with about 0 0.001 seconds left on the clock, and Lin Vision, they are counting their lucky stars right now here, Pete. I think Tyloo were seeing stars. I was certain, I'm sure Tyloo were as well. You know, the, that play was a, almost a repeat of what we saw previously. And I was certain Limb Vision were going to have the same problem of not being able to shift a bomb off. But no, they adapted. They played out the round much better than before. I think Tyloo caught off guard. Now they're going to only face down the possibility that Limb Vision might not even relinquish control to the end of the first map. How unfortunate is that for Tyloo that you've lost twice now when you're like, ah, guys, don't worry. I think we've got this. Oh, no, we've lost. Just straight away, like, even I was like, oh, is it even worth trying to defuse it? Because I think if, if, you, if you saw there as well, there was a good two seconds where no one got on the bomb. Like, they got their kills, and then no one went to the bomb. So it's, like, it's the classic, no, you go, no, 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 you go. No, after but you. right now, yeah, right now, Lin Fisham, no, sorry, for, for Tai Lu here, they, they will revive, but they've literally got one flashbang left with a minute 42 on the clock. They are sitting ducks. They've got the, they've got the firepower, and they're just going to have to trade out like that. The problem is they're going to have to do that three or four more times, and it's quite hard to trade out when Starry is just getting isolated 1v1s. It's three versus four. Starry is low, and Ooh. slowly will finish off the job. The path of the B site has been somewhat opened up, but Nelly is still there. I'm not sure if Slowly knows this is the case. Zaka has a good angle and provides some ventilation for Dan King. It's down to attacker to try and stop the path of rage. Lim Vision, they're on a tear on their CT half. Six rounds so far, about to be number seven. They have earned this. There is no other way to put it apart from they've earned these victories. This has not been easy. If they 
go home and go towards Ancient with an advantage already. They've got such momentum. Last time we saw these two teams face off, it was Tyloo who came victorious in a 16-13 lead. And already from the beginning, I was thinking, okay, we're seeing something a little bit different. As Lin Vision aren't when give, on their T side, they weren't giving Tyloo as much space as they did last time. And now round number 25 potentially the penultimate one in this game Tai Lu, they're committing five players early towards the speed bomb site they haven't got much utility they have what well, actually they have zero utility they haven't got many they haven't got really oh. many guns they've got four deagles and a glue and now they haven't got much hp attacker has been bongs down and starry well he's got the read perfectly and oh my gosh. yeah what well, honestly what more do you want that's it that's perfect that's that's gonna uh, elude um lin vision their 15th and pete this is impressive i'm more than impressed honestly i mean you know to the start of this garage match between these two teams lin vision could not have asked for a better game not only do they look like they're very much on course to win the map but i think that they're going to be potentially leaving tyloo in shock and awe coming out of this game wondering what the hell happened and not in a good state to go into game two at all yeah, completely. I think I think I, I couldn't have set that up any better myself. And Lin Vision, keeping as many players alive here as possible is good. Especially if, say, they don't win the next round. They can still reinvest. And it's not too scary. But you're... Okay. Zaka just getting a little bit maybe overconfident. You can see him just start <laughs> swinging with his pistol there. Like, okay, cool down a little bit. You know, there, there's no need to be doing that. But the bomb is... Is the bomb... Okay, the bomb's A and then Summer's towards B. Hmm. So, not necessarily the best thing I would choose to do in a 2 versus 5 especially when Starry just unfortunately gets a tie in there. There's not much you can really do about that one, but Lin Vision, they get 15, they get 15 flawlessly, and they're also on match point now. Yeah, I mean, two four-round streaks in a row. It's like, this is what we're thinking of coming out of the, you know, the two rounds being broken for Tyloo. It's, I generally, you know, I mean, this is, of course, the last chance I get, but for Lim Vision to not only win the first game, but to crush the second half, it's going to be doing wonders for the morale as much as it might well be crushing for Tyloo. Here we come one more time on the T side. Can they show us something more? I really hope they can, because I'm really enjoying this game right now. But, oh, what a start. Nades onto attacking. He's been bongs down early on. And Lin Vision, they've got so much space towards the B-bomb site, towards middle, towards A. But look, there's Tai Lu. They're changing up a little bit. They're doing a faster play. They're going to be trying to wrap towards this B-bomb site. But the problem Ooh. is they're going into the jaws of Lin Vision. Starry does get Isaac. That's a very nice headshot attacker. He has to do it all by himself, but he just chews off a little bit too much than he can buy the summer. He hears the orb scope. If he wide swings, this should be a frag, unless Zaga has the reactions of a god. And okay, no, I was going to say, that's such a hard shot to fight. That's such a hard battle to take. Summer just has to wide swing, which is exactly what he does. Two versus three now, Pete. This is very winnable, but it's not going to be easy, especially with A, a flank coming in, and then B, you've got Nelly rotating in from CT. So you've got a pin Interaction right now, and the flank, well, it's already there. They don't even wait for the teammates. The gold Westman coming up the stairs, Summer. The heart thudding in their chest as they take Ooh. down Westman. They've got their back to their opponent, though, and they haven't got eyes in the back of their head, but they sure do have a hole. That will be the end of it, and oh my gosh. I don't think anyone would have predicted that one going in, but Lim Vision with one of the most ridiculous halves I think we could have expected. No, we couldn't have expected it from them. We could have even dreamed for them. I think something that I do want to reiterate is, and I will stand by what I said, both Ty Liu and Rare Atom, they should be going through. One of these two teams. So if either Wings Up or Lin Vision are able to take a series off them, I would call.